Welcome to the Land of House channel. I'm Seth. I have the SandSmart Jinmitsu 4040 Pro CNC machine over here and the Jinmitsu uh, ProVar XL6050 Plus machine over here. And I would like to run these off of the Wi-Fi control kit. So Jinmitsu or SandSmart sent over that control kit. It's a uh, little wireless control board and it fits in either one of these machines. So as you'll notice, I don't have a PC next to these. So let's go ahead and connect this, I think first to the 6050 and run this from my cell phone and hopefully get some good results. And uh, if that works well, I will probably also do an install over here on the 4040 at a later time and we'll see how that works as well. But for now, let's focus on the 6050. Let's open up the wireless control kit for the CNC router here and see what we get. All right, so first of all, there is an instruction booklet now, this particular control board can connect to various machines that SandSmart Jinmitsu has. Uh, so for instance, we've got here installing the Wi-Fi module on uh, uh, situation one here. It's the Pro Series, the 3018 Pro, 3020 Pro Max, the ProVar 3018, uh, the ProVar XL Series, uh, the 4030, the 4030 V2, the ProVar XL6050 Plus, which is what I've got, and then um, just the XL6050. So for my install, I will simply be using the front of the control box here to connect to, very simple. However, if you have a situation uh, two, um, which is the 3020 Pro, the 4040 Reno, or the 4040 Pro, and a 3018 ProVar version two, um, then you would have to open up the control board that's on the side and access that port in there. So um, I may just show you what that looks like and then we'll um, continue with the install over here on my machine for the uh, 6050. Uh, but anyway, it gives you a list of what comes in the package here and then on the back it shows you how to get the app installed. So we'll move on to that here in just a moment. So we've got a couple of cables here. Here is a USB which uh, that might be what I need for the offline, offline controller. We'll see, I think so. And then that's the one you would use for the 4040 right there. So two cables. It's got, it so looks like a small Allen wrench screw right there. And then if we open this up, here is the control board. And it does come with a micro SD card already installed. And then this would be able to either sit on the desk, like I'm gonna have it here, or you can mount this inside the control board uh, somehow. So, all right, there we go. That's all that comes in the box. So let's go ahead and work on getting this installed. For a quick example of how you would connect this to the 4040 Pro, let me go ahead and show you here. First of all, you unscrew the four screws that hold the housing onto the control board. That pops loose here. Then you've got the fan connection up here. Just pull that out. Down below here is the, uh, let's see, let's get that here, is your uh, 24 volts in. So just pull that off and then the case will be removed. Then there are four screws you have to remove to get the control board away from the housing so that you can get this um, installed here. I failed to read the fine print. The 4040 Pro has to have a new main board on it that has the connection for Wi-Fi in the back of the board. I pulled everything apart and found that there was just a blank board with no connection point. So we won't be using the 4040 here in this test, but we will be using the 6050. Connecting the Wi-Fi controller to the 6050 Plus could not be any easier. You just take the included cable and you attach that here into the Wi-Fi control board. The other end is USB, and that's going to go right over here into the uh, control box. So there we go. That's all we have to do on that side. Now it's time to install the app. I'm going to go up here to the search bar and type in Jinmitsu. Go ahead and press install on that. I'm going to open up the Jinmitsu app. It's gonna ask me for using my location. All right, I've turned the machine on. 
which has powered up the Wi-Fi control board. It took a moment to figure out how to set things up. Basically, you turn off your Wi-Fi from your home router, and then you connect to the wireless card here on the control kit, get that set up, and then you connect back to your Wi-Fi router, and you should be good to go. Once you get to this screen, you can press the little next button right here, and it will open up some information on how to actually operate your machine. I now have the control options here with the CNC machine. I can hold down one of these buttons and I can jog the machine around. Let's see what happens if I press the home button. Doesn't seem to like the home button. All right, let's try turning on the spindle at about 4,500 RPMs. There we go. Spindle is now on. And stop the spindle. I've loaded up a scrap 2x4 that I want to use for my first test here with the phone. I'm going to go ahead and do a file load. And let's do the sandsmart.nc and see what that looks like. Okay, before I do the outline, I'm going to jog this uh, Z all the way up. Just in case this thing tries to go out of the way. Hi, right. looks like I need to move my work over just for this uh, example file here. Let's see what we get. Okay, so I have the app loaded up here. I've got the file, which is the just a sand smart example file. I'm going to press the outline button here. Confirm all. All right, looks like that's where it's going to be placing this. I'm going to go back to the controller. Move this over a little bit. All right, not an ideal bit here, but let's go ahead and just give it an example. So I'm going to press the uh, run button on this file. Confirm everything. percent here on the app Let's see how close it gets to here on this well there we go all right just said uh, check mark uh, I think what it made was the sand smart logo I just had a, a not a very good bit in there for this test so let's pull this out real quick and see what it looks like I think it was supposed to say uh, sand smart uh, but it's hard to see there anyway it worked and there we have it. That's installing the wireless control kit for the Sandsmart Jinmitsu 6050 Plus CNC machine. Basically, you uh, just plug up the wireless adapter here to your control box. You have to go through the setup to get your phone connected to that wireless uh, control kit. And then you go back to your Wi-Fi router and it links everything up together. Now the uh, bit that I have here is not ideal for the uh, test run that I did, um, but I can see on the board that it said Sand Smart, um, so it's working. And I think what you're going to do is design your file on your PC and then upload it to your phone, and then you can run the machine from your phone or tablet and not have to have this connected to the PC. Um, so in a shop like mine where I'm just getting set up, that's kind of nice. Um, so definitely. Um, 
look into this. I'll have a link in the description down below. Special shout out for special thanks to Sansmart Jinmitsu for sending over this control board. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you want to learn more about this control board, okay. If you'd like to okay. if you'd like to learn more about this control board or pick one up for yourself, I'll have a link to that in the description down below. I'm Seth with Land of House, and I'll see you in the next video. If you I gotta sneeze, I lost dust. That's better. Okay. If you want to learn more about this control board, oh, how's control board? If you'd like to learn more about the wireless control board or pick one up for yourself, I'll have a link to that in the description below. Okay, here we go. This is the outro. Just do it. If you want to learn more about the wireless control kit or pick one up for yourself, I'll have a link for that in the description down below. If you'd like to learn more about the wireless control kit or pick up one for yourself, I'll have links to that in the description down below. I'm Seth with Landa House, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.